If you get a chance, you should visit Isaac Newton's birthplace and apple trees in northeast England. It's a wonderful day trip from London. Newton was born here on Christmas Day, 1642, and he grew up here, learning to build little mechanical toys. He often neglected his farm duties, such as mending fences and tending to the sheep, in favor of reading and experimenting. Newton's home is now a museum. The main building itself has five rooms, and these are decorated in the style of the era, with signs and exhibits throughout. There's even a little hands-on science museum, where visitors can try out some of the classic experiments associated with Isaac Newton. An object in motion stays in motion, even if it's a nap. But the real star of this country home is the apple orchard, which includes the tree of legend. Now a historic landmark, the gnarled tree indeed looks as though it could be over 400 years old. The markers tell the story of how the tree that inspired the young Newton's gravity theory fell victim to gravity itself during a major storm. However, the tree was kept alive and still gives apples, and inspiration to those who visit it. Also on site, you will find a human sundial, a place for a picnic, and the famous experiments on optics, which was Newton's other great contribution to physics. There are prisms, reflecting telescopes, and light color mixers. When Newton came of age, he left the countryside to attend Trinity College in Cambridge. Here, you can find cloned relatives of the apple tree, grafted through vegetative propagation. Cambridge Botanical Gardens, they have a tree, an apple tree, supposedly descended from the same one that inspired Isaac Newton's train of thought. Cambridge is a great day trip too, and Trinity College is beautiful, thanks to King Henry VIII's money. Near the front gates, you will find another apple tree, right outside Newton's office, where he lived and worked as a research professor for almost 30 years. This tree here at Cambridge University, Trinity College, is supposedly also made from the original tree of Isaac Newton. So where is Isaac Newton now? Some of his books and locks of his hair can be found at Cambridge and Woolsthorpe. Even a copy of his death mask, too, resides at Woolsthorpe. The memorial and grave of Sir Isaac Newton is at London's Westminster Abbey. And this is not far from where he was president of the Royal Society of London which also has markers that honor their famous former president. But of all the sights, none can equal the quiet, contemplative air of the orchard in front of the stone cottage at Woolsthorpe Manor. As a physicist, this is truly a place of spiritual fulfillment. It was during the plague years when Newton escaped here and was inspired to write his Laws of Motion and the Theory of Universal Gravitation. Spend an afternoon here, and you too might have a great idea.